Hello everyone, welcome back to Anchored. Anchored is a TV show that helps you remain rooted in the faith while letting you know that you are not alone in this walk to heaven. We are so excited to have you joining us whether you're in person or watching online. This episode is being sponsored by Hope Beauty, a company that has its focus on beauty and women of the Bible. It's inspired by women of the Bible to remind women that their beauty is found in God. We're gonna be right back in just a moment with the founder of Hope Beauty. Stay with us, you're really going to enjoy this. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for sticking with us, and thank you for tuning into today's episode. Again, I am so honored that you all are here. Today, I am joined with Hope Harvard. Hope Harvard and I met at a women's conference. She has a makeup line called Hope Beauty, and I'm so excited for you to get to meet her today. Hope, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. This is my first time in Boston, so I'm excited to be here. Yes, no, same here. And it's just an honor to have you here in person on set and to also talk about some uh, topics that are very near and dear to your heart, including mm -hmm. makeup. So before we jump into that, can you just introduce yourself to those here in the audience and watching at home? Yeah, of course. So my name is Hope Harvard. I'm 24 years old and I'm a South Carolina girl. If you can't tell from my accent, I love the South. Um, I'm one of four kids and I was raised in the church. I love Jesus with all of my heart. He is um, the reason that I do everything that I do. Uh, the first thing that I think about when I wake up in the morning and the last thing I think about before I go to sleep every night, that was something that was instilled in me from a very young age is the importance of my faith. Uh, so I didn't get my career start in makeup, actually. I've loved makeup my entire life because I'm a, the girliest girl <laughs> you will ever meet. Um, but I actually started in politics, which is why I I went to that conference actually. Mm -hmm. um, it was a political conference. And I worked in the White House for President Trump for two years. And with the change of administration, I came home. I was totally lost as to what to do with my life. I felt like I was serving God when I was working for President Trump in the White House, that I was giving back to my country mm -hmm. and truly a servant of the Lord in a really big way. Yeah. And so I remember coming home and not having a job that I was fully satisfied in. And I cried really hard one night and said, Lord, this cannot be it. Mm -hmm. This can't be all that you have. I wasn't done serving you. I'm still not done. Tell me what to do next. Tell me how to serve you. I went to bed that night with a wet pillow. Like literally I had <laughs> cried so hard my pillow was wet. And I woke up the next morning with the idea to start a makeup line inspired by women of the Bible. And I was living at home with my mom at the time and so we went on a power walk like we like to do in the mornings and at the end of the power walk in 45 minutes I had come up with some type of makeup product that would tell the story of each woman of the Bible and just this impression from God just fell on my heart to remind God's daughters that they are beautiful that he treasures them mm -hmm. and that they can celebrate their beauty and embrace yes. their femininity mm -hmm. with a little bit of makeup, just like they would put on, you know, a fun dress or paint their nails mm -hmm. or, you know, even just paint a fun picture. It's just a different way to express ourselves, but also our love and admiration um, for the beauty of Christ and the gospel. Amazing. And Hope, you know, for the women who may be in this audience or watching at home, most makeup lines, and you've mentioned this before on your Instagram account, mm -hmm. most makeup lines don't do what Hope Beauty does, which inspires women, which draws something deeper to the faith, which draws on greater beauty, both visually and also in a gospel sort of way. Mm -hmm. How come, why do you think most women have become so desensitized to what they're picking up off the shelves, like far beyond just the ingredients, but also mm -hmm. the titles of some of these makeups, the mascaras, the bronzers, whatever it may be, uh, what do you think has desensitized us? Well, I think the first thing that you notice when you walk into the makeup store these days is that the beauty industry has truly become ugly. Whether it is looking at 
filtered models on Instagram that you will never live up to. Your skin in real life is not airbrushed. I have pimples on my face right now <laughs> because I'm a real girl. Yeah. Uh, you're never going to look like that filtered picture of Kim Kardashian in real life because that's not even what she looks like in real life. Mm -hmm. So that's deceptive. Right. And then you go into the beauty store and they start selling you on everything that you lack. You need, you have, you know, um, blemishes on your skin, so you need to cover that up with foundation. Mm -hmm. You need to lengthen your lashes with mascara. They start selling you on the things that you lack, mm -hmm. as if beauty is something that you strive for instead of something that you have just been given from God, and that is the truth. So that's the place and the mission that Hope, Hope Beauty operates from: is that you're already beautiful. Makeup yes. doesn't make you beautiful because God already did that. It simply doesn't have the power to, and we're not here pretending that you know God didn't make you beautiful and that he doesn't already appreciate that yes. and then you start looking into the darkness of the beauty industry which you just hinted to the mm -hmm. names of the products things like literally deception and liar mm -hmm. sin cheater you're none of those things I mean those are just the PG names <laughs> those aren't even like the PG 13 or the R rated names yes, that some of these makeup products are named after and what they're inspired by um, and I think that when you put on those products, you're putting on a mask of someone that you're not. You're not deceptive, you're not a cheater, you're not a liar, mm -hmm. and you live to not be sinful. You, you want to live a righteous life. And so when you're putting those products on your face, that's an outward representation of what's in your heart. Mm -hmm. uh, you wouldn't wear a shirt that said that on it, so why would you wear a lip gloss that's, that's named after that? So I think it's time for us to pay attention to the little things and also look at the big things of a company, like what companies donate to Planned Parenthood and who's funding abortions stop supporting those companies that are literally funding mur murder with your beauty products you know I couldn't think of anything more ugly than funding um, the murder of an innocent baby mm. with a lipstick I yeah. that just is unfathomable to me and that's why one of my products the marvelous mascara that ju just launched last week actually um, it donates and gives back to the pro-life movement. Five dollars from each mascara sold is given to Live Action, one of the biggest yes. uh, pro-life mm -hmm. organizations out there. I was so proud to partner with them That's and great. also to just remind women that they are fearfully and wonderfully and marvelously made with the name Marvelous Mascara. Yes, wonderful. And Hope, what drew you to choose the majority of your makeup being named after women of the Bible? The women of the Bible are our influencers that God gave us. You know, we have our TikTok influencers and yes. our Instagram influencers that will tell us what to buy and, you know, what products to try next. But God gave us these women as uh, role models and as as women to look up to in faith and in beauty. You know, we see that Esther, before she went before the king, went through 18 months of beauty treatments. Mm -hmm. Ruth, before she went to go meet Boaz mm -hmm. on the threshing floor, Naomi told her, wash, put on your best dress, and put on perfume before <laughs> you go out there. They knew that there was power in getting ready as a woman. That's true. The time you spend in the bathroom doesn't have to be in vain. It can be in service to the Lord as you prepare yourself for the day. And instead of thinking about what you need to do and all that you need to get done, now you're thinking about being loyal like Ruth as you apply her product, or patient and faithful like Sarah, or humble and obedient like Mary, because you are all of those things. Mm -hmm. And as you get ready, then you're thinking about these women. And you know, who knows? We love to go to lunch. I know girls in the audience, like that's one of my favorite things to do, or dinner, or just out with your friends. Yeah. And we're always asking each other, where'd you buy that dress? Or where'd you get that <laughs> lip gloss? Yeah. And I didn't just imagine one day these girls are out at lunch and one of them is applying her lip gloss. Maybe it's the Rahab lip gloss. And she hears about this woman who was a prostitute who lived a life full of sin in a city where literally no one else followed God. Mm -hmm. Rahab was the only one. But in one act of faith, in one moment, she chose to believe in God and she changed the entire trajectory of her life. She saved her family's life mm -hmm. and then God honored that one act of faith uh, that that tr just trailblazed for the rest of her life and for her family and gave her a place in the lineage of Jesus. And I can see that girl just getting this lip gloss and seeing it and thinking about this woman whose story she's never heard before mm -hmm. and she's never been shared the gospel in this way and it plants the seed for the Holy Spirit to come in and water it mm -hmm. and let it grow yes. until she believes in Christ because that is the ultimate goal of Hope Beauty to share the beauty of the gospel. Amen.
Well, Hope, I am so excited to get to see some of this makeup. Yeah. So we're going to actually go right to a commercial break. And when we come back, you're going to see Hope's cosmetic line, and we're going to have a model join us. So stay with us. We're going to go to a commercial break, and we'll see you in just a couple minutes. influenced by. Before makeup was created, women were radiating beauty through confidence, purity, and hope. Our mission is to revive a revolution of femininity by retelling the stories of the pioneers of beauty, the women of scripture. We've cleverly matched their stories with makeup to enhance your beauty routine because nothing shines brighter than a godly glow. What if? Instead of being influenced by the world, we were transformed by the word. Then we will truly radiate pure confidence. Hope Beauty, coming soon. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us and everyone here again. Thank you for being here and taking time and everyone watching. Thank you for tuning in. We're at a very fun segment. Again, we're talking about Hope Beauty with Hope herself. I am going to reveal a little bit about my experience with makeup. I'm not very good at it, as you can tell. Hope, oh was, Hope was back there <clears throat> in, the in the changing room helping me with the bronzer. Where I'm wearing her uh, lipstick, her bronzer, and I'm very excited to see how you apply makeup so I can learn a little bit of something for myself for this show and for other shows we do here at Catholic TV. But we are joined with my good cousin, Lily Murad, and I am so grateful that Lily said yes to be a uh, model so we can see the makeup that Hope has from her cosmetic line on this beautiful face. So Hope, please take it away. I'd love to hear a little bit about the makeup that you have with us. Thank you. So I want to start by saying that most women know their own face. They know what looks good on them. They know what makes them feel good, whether that is wearing pink lipstick or bright red lipstick. You know, mm -hmm. you know your own personality and your face and what looks good. So don't be afraid to just go for it with your makeup. You don't have to be afraid or, you know, I know we feel very overwhelmed when we go into the makeup store and it's wall to wall makeup yes. and it's like everything you could ever want for your face. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to be afraid of it. Just go in. If only using a couple of products is what makes you feel best, do that. If going full glam is what makes you feel good too, go for that too because awesome. this is about making you feel good and, and honestly for me, getting ready in the morning is about spending time with God and preparing myself before I start my day. So I want to highlight a couple of our products. We've already done her face for the most part. We're just going to add a couple little things here and there to her face and really just show you how we use makeup to accentuate and highlight, never to cover up. So we're going to start with the Esther Radiant Sticks. Beautiful. These are called Radiant Sticks because our faces are radiant and never covered with shame when we are looking to Christ for our confidence. And so to apply this one, this is like a bronzing stick. Uh, you could use it on your eyes. You could use it on your cheeks. For more fair skin tones, it's going to work as a bronzer. But for lighter skin tones, it's going to work as a highlighter. My favorite way to apply this is to use a synthetic brush. Rob the brush across the top of the product. Get it on there nice and good. And then I just dab it on to my cheeks to give it a beautiful glow. Now underneath this Esther Radiant Stick, we've already contoured for her cheeks and her forehead and her nose with the Ruth Radiant Stick, which is a matte contour stick you could use on your cheeks, again, on your eyes or your lips. They're a really universal product. So I just dab it on. And for this one, when I'm using it as a bronzer, I really only use it on my cheeks. I try to always avoid using products that are super shimmery on your forehead because you never want to look oily or shiny, but your cheeks can have a beautiful glow to them. 
Yeah, it looks beautiful, Hope. Yeah, thank you. Next, we're going in with Eve. And when I chose bright pink for Eve, I was just reminded of the hibiscus flowers. Mm. And as I just pictured Eve in the Garden of Eden, you know, where woman was first created, I just kept seeing this bright hot pink color. And so I wanted to create this product to remind women why why women were created in the first place, why um, Adam needed Eve and why God sought to made us. So I just wanted it to be something bright and happy to remind you of your purpose. I call it purposeful pink just for Eve. Beautiful. And then lastly, I think this is one of my favorite stories in the Bible. It's the Hannah radiant stick and it's a highlighter. You could use it on your cheeks again or your eyes, but the Bible literally says that after Hannah prayed, her face was radiant. She went into the temple, she was downcast, she was crying, she poured her heart out to God. And you can also apply a little bit of highlight Later to the bow of your lip as a fun little fun little side tidbit there <laughs> um, and to the inner corners of your eyes you can just use your finger but as she prayed God poured into her heart close your eyes for Manny and when she left the temple her face was radiant it literally says that in the Bible. So the rate, this one really is the Hannah Radiant Stick. Mm -hmm. For Lily's eyes, we've already done her up completely with the Deborah Eyeshadow Collection. There are three shades named after Deborah's three roles as a leader of Israel. She's known as a prophet, a judge, mm -hmm. and a mother of Israel. And so this shade right here is a golden shimmery shade, and it is called Prophet. And so we're just going to pop it into the center of her lid here, right here really amp up that golden color, That's warm up beautiful. the lid a little bit. It's going to reflect the light and make your eyes look more open and bigger mm -hmm. to give a more doll eyed effect. And then for every eye color, this eyeshadow is going to make your eyes pop and look more vibrant too. It's going to bring out the natural color of your eyes. Mm -hmm. Lily, please tell me you have somewhere to be after this. <laughs> All this you beautiful, look beautiful makeup. Beautiful, beautiful. And lastly, we can finish up with some lips. I love this Sarah Lip Liner. I think it is the most universal product at Hope Beauty. It's gel and waterproof, so the texture is really soft, and it just glides so smoothly onto the lips. And when I was choosing a color for Sarah, I just kept thinking of her faith and her patience and also her willingness to follow God's path for her mm. um, even if it she didn't do it perfectly at all times because really who gets it right all of the time I think that she um, is a perfect example of continually trusting in God to fulfill all of his promises in your life Beautiful. and as I chose her lipstick color I just kept thinking of how she put that faith into action because, you know, it's easy to just talk about faith. Mm -hmm. You know, it's easy to just say, well, you just got to keep believing, just keep believing. But Sarah really did have to believe in oh, the yeah. promise that God gave to Abraham. And part of that promise was to march across the deserts of Israel. And so I chose this color because it really reminded me of the sand mm -hmm. that she would have had to walk across as she was literally putting feet to her faith and marching mm -hmm. um, across to put receive the promise that God gave her. Yes. So we're gonna pop this into the center of her lips. And if you're at home, obviously you would just apply this with, you know, straight to your lips, but because we're in the studio, I apply it with a brush. You could do whatever makes you comfortable. This is a super hydrating matte lipstick, so it's not gonna dry your lips out. But then, if you remember, <laughs> we were talking about the Rahab lip gloss before. Yes. That, yep. You know, the woman of the Bible who, a girl might share her story with and believe in God through. And so this is not a bright red. It's a more of a deep coppery red. The red color is inspired by the red cloth that Rahab dropped over the side of the wall of Jericho as a symbol um, to the Israelite army to come back um, and attack the the city of Jericho. Mm -hmm. You know, this was happening all right before the walls of Jericho came tumbling down. We all know that story. And so it started with a red scarf um, mm -hmm. from Rahab. And I love that the color of red 
would have previously been a symbol of her sin because she was a wayward woman, but God used it and turned mm -hmm. that color around to be a symbol of her salvation. And so I, when I was choosing these colors for Hope Beauty, I wanted it to be natural and something that you honestly would wear every day, nothing too out there and crazy, just natural enhancements and accentuations of the beauty that God already gave you. Amazing. And then we touched up her eyes with a little bit mm -hmm. of the Marvelous Mascara because you're fearfully and wonderfully made. And so we can pop a little bit extra of that on, just amp them up just a little bit. A pro tip, when you're at home, you never want to pump your mascara to get the product on there. You always want to dip it. You can wiggle it around a little bit, but then when you pull it out, you want to wipe off any excess mm. that's on the brush to avoid any mishaps, you know. So it's not too chunky yeah, looking so, too. Yeah, so when your hand spazzes out yeah. when you're in the mirror, <laughs> so you don't accidentally, you know, swipe it all the way across mm -hmm. your face, the, um, the mess ups are limited. Yes. So if you'll just look at me, I always start at the base and wiggle upwards mm. towards the ends. And this brush applicator actually has a winged tip so it gets really skinny on the inside here and it's perfect for getting the outer corners and then the inner corners as well and then I just start at the base and wiggle all the way through the tip on both sides you can base your face this way and Hope, and even we'll through the up. makeup line, hopefully it's inspiring other young women of any age to really lean into scripture and learn about these women as well. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. I actually really have a girl who has followed Hope Beauty since the beginning and she said, I've never prayed, I've never been one to pray in public. You know, it's not been my thing. I've never felt that I was good enough to pray. But one day before I was getting ready to, she was actually getting ready for a pageant of all things. Um, she said that she was, she opened up her makeup box and I was like, what lipstick am I gonna put on? And she saw her Hope Beauty in there. She put it on and she went outside and one of the girls asked if anyone wanted to pray. And all of a sudden she, she said, I will. She was like, oh my gosh, did that just come from me? Because I've never offered to pray for anybody in my life. Wow. Um, and she said, I just thought about Hope Beauty mm -hmm. and the confidence that it gave me as I was praying because it really does make a difference to arm yourself, one, mm -hmm. with Scripture, with the Word of God. We're called to put on the armor of God. Right. And in a way, as we're getting ready and we're putting on these the stories of these women, we go out and we live their legacy in the real world exactly. as we, you know, pray for other people. and We're emboldened and uh, equipped to truly live for Christ as we are reminded of these stories as we get ready for the day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. No, that's beautiful. Thank you. And look at this face of makeup. This is beautiful, Lily. You look great. Thank, Thank you. you. It feels great. It feels really supple and light. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It feels really great. Good. So, Hope, where can everyone get this beautiful makeup that you've shown on Lily um, and then also some more of your cosmetic line that maybe you didn't have with you today. Yeah, you can shop Hope Beauty at HopeBeautyUSA.com and then also give us a follow on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. I love to do devotionals and tutorials all across our social media just to encourage girls and also, you know, help equip them to get ready for the day. Beautiful. Well, Hope, thank you again for coming and thank you for letting the women of the Bible inspire you for this work that you're doing. And Lily, thank you for being a good sport on getting your makeup done for us and being our model. Yeah, thank She's you for beautiful. having me. Of course. And for everyone watching again, thank you so much for being here and thank you for joining us here today on Anchored. We hope you can join us again for our next episode. God bless all of you and for our live studio audience, hang around because we do have a discount code for Hope Beauty and we will get a chance to have a little meet and greet with our guest, Hope. God bless you, remain anchored in the truth, and we'll see you next time.